uh, the record right now. Fantastic. We have started recording and now I will pass it on to Anne. So thank you very much, Anne. Thanks, Bo. Bo, you have to enable me to share the screen. Yes. Awesome. Great. Should be okay now. Um, all right. Let's try now. Good. So can you see the screen changed? <laughs> Hello. Is everything okay? Yeah, uh, it just Hello. hasn't come through. Oh, there we go. Yeah. We can I see think it. my internet Very has good. some issue. Yes, yeah, sorry. Um, I think yeah, my we got, it just cut it a little bit. <laughs> no, no, that's okay. That's okay. Oh, we can, I can hear. Can, can everyone just confirm that they can hear okay? Maybe someone on the chat yeah, box. So I will it. try. Just for me, I can hear. I can hear. I will try to speak a bit slow <laughs> so that the <laughs> is still okay. All right. So um, thank you everyone for joining this. Um, be casual a bit. Don't so tense. So um, yes, casual. Some some in the middle that uh, you have any questions, you can just put in the chat. Um, I will answer it later. All right. So doing the presentation, I will not able to see the chat. So sorry for that. And if suddenly, if you see my voice missing or I'm missing, so please inform me. Um, might be my Great. internet again. <laughs> All right. So thank you again. Sounds good now. Thank me for this um webinar session. So um yes, thank you for uh joining as well. So let me try to make it a play. Um, still okay. <laughs> yes, really good, really clean. Um, Everything's yeah. good. Welcome to Griffith. So uh, just a short briefing. So we actually have about more than 50,000 students with 4,000 over staff. We have six campuses in Queensland, Australia. Um, later we'll talk uh, more about that. And we, um, all the students are all coming from over 130 nationalities. And through the years, we have about more than 200,000 graduates. And as a full flash of universities, we definitely have more than 200 plus degrees, um, both undergrads, um, postgrads, and also PhD research, right? So this is the six campuses that I'm talking about, five physical campus and one digital. So we are actually located in Queensland, the top corner there, the right-hand side of Australia. It's about one hour flight. Um, if you take the flight from uh, Sydney or Melbourne, um, you will reach Brisbane. So Brisbane is actually the capital of Queensland. Uh, we have a Nathan Mount Gravert campus and South Bank campus in Brisbane. And uh, we also have a large campus, which is in Gold Coast. So this is roughly our campuses, um, five physical campus and one digital that is um, for all the online program. Okay. So this is how Brisbane looks, very lovely, beautiful city. This is how Gold Coast looks. So this is, um, you know, the famous Gold Coast. So this is our South Bank. Um, so this is in opposite, um, not opposite, this is in Brisbane. So this is where our film school, College of Queensland College of Art and Queensland Conservatorium located. So our Griffith Film Schools will have the uh, famous film and screen production program and also the uh, game animations. All right, uh, Queensland College of Arts will have all the design program, the sculptures, the painting, photography, Right, and the Queensland Conservatorium will be the performance. So it's the um, music, musical theater, acting, those will come under Queensland Conservatorium. All right, this is our whole stretch of the three large um, buildings in the South Bank campus. So this is our native campus. Um, it's among the bushes actually, but it's also our second largest building uh, or campus um, under Griffith University. So it's not far away from Brisbane city. It's just, um, if you drive a car, it's about 15 minutes. If you take buses, it will be 20 minutes. And we have feeder bus um, to take students through and fro, all right? This is the Mount Gravert campus, smaller a bit. Uh, it's actually uh, located opposite Nathan campus. 
This is Logan, our smallest one, which holds up to about 2,000 plus students only. So majority of these uh, students are all the, um, I think is Australians and um, the locals. So um, this is our smallest uh, Logan campus, yeah? So this is the GOCUS. This is the biggest one um, of our campus and the so-called the new one. Um, it can actually host up to about 18,000 students. So here you can see our health center. This is the Griffith Health Center, which is about 10 story high. This is where our famous health school is. And this is our Gold Coast University Hospital, also known as the Griffith Hospital. This is the tram station, all right. And then this is the business school. Um, and then at the, this uh, right side corner, you see the Galley. Galley is our English Language Institute and Griffith College. And next to it, you'll see the Griffith University Village Accommodation. That is our hostel where the students will be staying on campus. All right. So um, at the bottom here, you can see this is our sport facility. And also um, this is the library. So later we can um, ha have a look inside the library uh, if we have time. Okay. So this is how the whole um, campus look like. This is our Gold Coast campus. So um, I would say about 90% of our international students will be placed under this campus, okay? So um, it's not very far as well. So if you drive a car, it's about one hour from the Brisbane city. Okay, so um, why study Griffiths? <laughs> So uh, we actually is considered as one of the young, young university. We only have about 40 over, um, means we are actually founded in year 1975. So it's about 40 plus only. So not considered as an old university yet. So, but we have very good ranking in the world. And also we have been, um, we have a lot of uh, good teachers teaching in our campus. And we actually have a, uh, four times of best teachers awards teachers teaching in our campus, all right? So um, we also have a lot of five stars for overall uh, experience and teaching quality. And this is some of our top ranking programs, all right? Like hospitality and tourism is ranked number one in Australia and fifth worldwide. Nursing and midwifery program is ranked number one in Australia and second worldwide. The law is also ranked in the first in Australia. Okay, so, and our MBA is also ranked number one in the world for sustainable business. So we also have a lot of five-star collected for these um, categories. And also we have highest rating well above world standard in 24 specific fields of research. So this is some of the introduction about why choosing Griffiths, all right? So this is the pathway. So we actually have our partner, which is the Griffith College. So um, I'm just only brief a bit on that. So because I'm from the university side, so um, later we still will do a bit of briefing on the Griffith College. So this is the general uh, uh, pathway. So the left side here, you can see this is year 11 and 12. And then uh, after they completed year 11, or 12, they actually will have to go through the foundation. And then from foundation, they can go into the degree. So if let's say someone wanted to do diploma, they can also choose to go for diploma. So it's actually depending on the program and also depending on the student's result, all right? So this is the general pathway. Um, students can uh, come in after high school, go to foundation or diploma, and then they go to our undergrads and then postgraduate and also the research. Okay, so far, okay here? Okay. So uh, we are actually um, having three trimester intake. So the first one always in February or March. Second one will always be in July. And the third one will always be in October or November. So it's uh, quite flexible for students to study. Um, you can refer to our uh, program later um, that if you see the commencement, you see T1, T2, T3, it means that this program is offered in what months, all right? So this is just a brief on our trimesters. So, um, so this is all the studies area. I won't be going in one by one uh, as we have too many programs to talk to if we want to go in one by one in details. So this is a brief general one, like architectural, constructions and planning, criminology and law, 
education, engineering, IT, aviation, business and government, humanities and languages, medicine, dentistry and health, music and performing arts, science. Is it something happened? No, I think, uh, yes, you may have to share again. Uh, oh, it suddenly popped out. <laughs> um, sorry. Yeah, that's, a, that's okay. You can, yes, yeah, that's what's okay. Happened. Sorry. You, you can just, yeah, yeah, that's okay. No problem. Okay. All right. So we continue, yeah? Yeah, we're back. Okay. Perfect. Sorry. So this is the Griffith Business School. So we have all the accreditations um, needed for each of the program. And we actually are ranked number one for the hospitality program. And just now we already introduced. So um, under Griffith Business School, um, this is the accreditation just uh, I was mentioned about. So we have the CPA for the accounting and all the chartered accountants and all the recognitions that is needed for each of the program, all right? So this is a Bachelor of Business. So it was, um, it, it is introduced last year. It's new for us um, last year. Uh, now it's no longer new. So the special about this program is that actually we, um, com we, we, we join all the um, majors in uh, commerce and the uh, business into one full Bachelor of Business. So students have the choice to choose what kind of majors they want to do. They can choose single major, they can choose double major, or they can even have a single major with one minor or double major with one minor. It's very flexible for students to mix and match. So this is some of the examples of the business majors here and also the language. If the students are interested to uh, have some languages as their minors, they can also add in, all right? So this is the Bachelor of Business. Okay, this is the AEL school. This is the Arts, Education and Law School. Um, actually, under the business school, we also have the master's program, postgraduate level, um, but I'm not going to uh, do it in the PowerPoint. I'll do it in the website later, all right? So this is the AEL school. So inside this school is the combination of the humanities, uh, languages and social science, Griffith Law School, criminology, educations, and then of course the Queensland College of Art Film School and the Conservatorium. So this is the uh, South Bank campus. Uh, you remember the Queensland College of Art Film School and Conservatorium? Yeah. So this is all under AEL. So um, criminology and law. So this is the um, first ranking uh, in Australia for law. And uh, we also have this um, Griffith University Innocent Project that is actually under our criminology school. So um, we will also look into the criminology later on, yeah? So here, this is the criminology. So we have two uh, big program that is the Bachelor of Criminology and Criminal Justice and also Bachelor of Law. So be careful of the Bachelor of Law because the law is not really um, have their recognitions in certain countries. So uh, depending on the country, so we will need to look at it case by case, okay? So the criminology and criminal justice, um, we actually have a double degree for this program. So one is mixed with the Bachelor of IT which students can study about the cybersecurity, all right? And the other one is a double degree with the forensic science. If students is interested with those uh, crime scene investigations, they can actually look into this forensic science and criminology and criminal justice. So this is the STAR program under the criminology and law school. So this is the education school. So um, we are actually ranked in Australia for the top five for teachers education. So we have two. One is the Bachelor of Education and also the Master's. So the Bachelor of Education, we have one special group that is the Autism Studies, Special Needs and Early Childhood. This is actually um, can be chosen by the students to become one of their major. And also we have two categories, that is the primary education and secondary education. Um, then when they go to the Master, they can actually have the uh, Master of Education Master of Autism Studies, primary teaching, secondary teaching, all right? So this is related to teaching. So if students are interested to become a teacher, they can actually look into this program. This is the Music and Performance Arts. 
So this is the Bachelor of Music. So this is some of the study areas under the Bachelor of Music, where the students can go for Bachelor of Music in Composition, Bachelor of Music in uh, Music Technology, um, depending on what kind of uh, uh, studies area they're interested. And also we have some uh, performance, all right? And also Bachelor of Acting. So this is the medicine, dentistry, and health. So here we have a lot of uh, good program that can be introduced to students. So under the health at Griffith, we actually have about 24 discrete disciplines. So um, it can be like, I'm sorry for all the wordings. I don't know why it runs everywhere. So we have the allied health. We have the applied psychology, dentistry, um, human service and social work. Medicine, this is the doctor program. Uh, medical science, this is, um, yeah, this is also can become a doctor. Yeah, nursing and midwifery, pharmacy and pharmacology, and also the psychology, um, nutrition, they're all inside, all right? So at a glance, so this is a field that um quite famous and uh, students like to inquire. That is the nursing, pharmacy, psychology, biomedical science, physiotherapy, nutrition, and dietetics. And the um, master side, we have the social work, we have the infection and prevention and control. Master of infection and prevention and control, this is actually a one year online program. So um, a lot of our students for this program actually is a working um, professionals in hospitals, you know, so they actually take up this program, uh, this, yeah, this special program um, to learn about the prevention and control um, during this pandemic season. So um, this is an online program. They don't need to come here. All right. So we also have Master of Global Public Health, um, Master of Health Service Management and some others. All right. So this is the Engineering IT and Aviation School. So under this school, our most famous one is the aviation. And then this is the engineering. So this is um, all types of engineering. You don't need to worry about the where, which campus. So sometimes we share the campus because of the facilities. Um, just remember Griffith do not have chemical engineering. All right, we have everything but chemical engineering. So we have software, we have mechanical, civil, electronic, blah, 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 but no chemical. Just remember that, all right? So they can do the Bachelor of Engineering and then they can continue with master's, uh, postgraduate in uh, professional engineering and or postgraduate in uh, engineering. So these two um, will be enable students if they want to come here to do uh, like, you know, study and then get a post study visa and then steady here okay get a PR yeah so this is the IT school um, where we actually have the computer science uh, bachelor of IT and bachelor of intelligent digital technology so the difference is here that I've listed down for computer science is those for the software programming artificial intelligence for the IT is those um, that prefer the network security software development where the IDT is actually related to um, robotics and the VR and entertainment, all right? So the master side, we have master of cybersecurity and also master of information technology. Okay, this is the famous aviation that I was talking about. So basically we have two. So one is Bachelor of Aviation, one is Bachelor of Aviation Management. So um, students who wishes to become a pilot, they can actually take up Bachelor of Aviation. Student who not really interested to become a pilot, but they are interested in the aviation industry, they can take up the aviation management. All right. So um, after they complete this program, Bachelor Aviation and Bachelor of Aviation Management, both are two years. All right. Both only two years. They can actually continue with a graduate diploma in flight management. During this graduate diploma, they will actually learn to get the uh, learn to fly and then they will actually sit for the PPL license and the CPL license. All right, so this is the Bachelor of Aviation or Bachelor of Aviation Management. So this is the Science and Environment School. So under the schools, we have the famous one, which is the Forensic Science, all right, and also Marine Science. Um, like here, marine biology, marine science, and a forensic science. So if any students is asking about this, you can actually tell them that Griffith offered these two big programs here. Okay, any questions until here? 
Okay, I can't see your questions also. <laughs> All right, so we go on. So this is the scholarship. So we actually have uh, three types of scholarship, but this is the academic excellence and the merit scholarship. This two is actually given automatically means as long as the students um, fulfill the uh, criteria, we will award the students um, and state that the scholarship in the offer letter itself. So merit scholarship cover 20%, excellent scholarship cover 25%. Remarkable scholarship is our um, limited quota scholarship. It's covered 50% of the tuition fees. This one, students have to go into the website. Later, we will go in and then I'll show you. So students have to actually fill up the form and then they have to write the personal statement and it has to go through the scholarship board. So it's not um, everyone who apply will get it. So um, please do not um, tell the students that once you apply, you will get it, okay? We don't want to give them a false hope. So, but this excellence and merit is a definite automated given. So as long as they meet the criteria, they will receive the scholarship. Remarkable, they will have to apply and then they will have to wait for the scholarship board to announce whether they will get it or not, all right? So this is the three types of the um, scholarship that we have for international students. So some of the criteria here. So this one, um, actually, um, I can share it with the um, Yes Education Group, and then they can actually help you to check, see whether your students uh, actually meet the criteria or not. All right. So like IB, like um, this is the tertiary education, means those that got um, diploma. So um, what kind of a scholarship they can get. And the A-levels. All right, and if we're talking about Malaysian students, so we're talking about the UEC program and also STPM or GCE levels. So this is the um, Merit and Excellence Scholarship. Okay. Okay, so, um, sorry. I was just saying, perfect, that's really good. Yeah, all very clear. <laughs> okay, okay. So the processes is that, um, once your student provide you all the information, you will actually, um, I'm not sure whether you have the, um, I mean, the study link system. So you actually will submit everything into the study link system. So um, the uh, admission officer will process it and then they will send it to the school and get approval. So for credit exemption, it will take longer time because the students, I mean, the schools have to do program mapping and then advice on the credit exemptions. So you have to allocate at least three to four months time in case the credit exemptions is um, not checked, revert back, all right? So for normal applications, um, it should be, I mean, direct entry and clean one. It should be within one month, you should be getting the offer. Or if, if there is any um, missing documents that is needed or something, the admission officer will actually email you and request for it. So um, just um, need to remember that if you receive anything from the admission, try to CC me as well, so that in case you need to find out anything, um, or sometimes the system doesn't capture the documents that you add on. So at least I can help you to check what's happening. And sometimes um, you may need me to discuss with my admission um, and understand why the students have this kind of um, result or, or, or special approval or something, all right? So um, try to let me know, okay? Because I will not be able to access the study link and check, see whether uh, how many applications you have submitted. So uh, you have to let me know if you need my help. All right. So this is the uh, offer and acceptance. And once students uh, accept uh, offer came out, so agents have to help them to accept the offer. And then you have to uh, ask for the uh, COE, that is the confirmation of enrollment. So with that, then only you can do the visa. All right. So if let's say you are, Chasing for the COE, let me know as well. I will help you to check, see whether we can escalate the process, all right? So this is some of the quick links. Um, you, you, you may find it uh, useful, like the academic calendar, you know, when is the intake, when is the census date, when is the uh, enrollment and stuff like that. This is the accommodation. Um, this is the agent website. Okay, and then, um, yeah, this is the English uh, school, Gali. 
And the, all right, this is the research. So uh, we also have our PhD research uh, center. Um, recent, I didn't share anything about this because uh, agent do not get any commission for research student. So if you come across any PhD students, you can direct them um, direct to me so that I can share the details with them and ask them to apply by themselves. <laughs> because it's a long-winded uh, processes and I don't want you to waste your time talking to students who actually um, looking for research pathway. And um, I don't want to waste your time now in a way, right? So uh, just remember, so for students coming in for PhD and research program, um, you don't get a commission. So that's why you can direct them to me and I will help you to solve the problem, right? So I think everyone okay? <laughs> Later I'll check the chat. Yes, all good. All, yeah, yeah. All, we'll, we'll do the questions at the end. Yes, yes, thank you. Right, so this is some of the help that we have for, sorry for the siren. <laughs> sorry, I have a police car here. Okay, so this is the English help that we are providing for our international students. So in case the students have came here, and then especially the Asians, um, they're not so good in their English. So they're scared of, um, you know, communicating um, using the English. They can actually have the consultation with our um, our team, all right? We provide one-to-one -one consultations and they can book the consultation. It's totally free. All right, which uh, we can actually help them to uh, develop their English skill. This is not um, under the English school, all right? This is a separate uh, support that we gave to our students, all right? No, no need to pay, free of charge, okay? So this is some of the workshop that actually our students is uh, allowed to take up during their studies um, that help them to improve, like the academic grammar and vocabulary, pronunciation power, High, high, higher degree research language, scientific writing, you know, all this is actually is under the support that we gave to all our students and it's all free of charge, no need to worry, all right? Um, this is the, um, after the students doing the, uh, I think it's year two or year three, when they have the WIL, which is the work integrated learning, or you call it industry training, or you call it placement, um, we actually have our unit to assist the students to um, look for their career planning and then apply for job, and then we'll help them to find a job. Um, we don't say we provide them a job, all right? We just help them to uh, guideline, you know, we provide some guideline on how do they write their resume, and then um, maybe we introduce them some good jobs, you know, whenever there is any um, jobs opening that is available, we will actually open up to our students. So, um, we assist them, all right? We will say we assist them in getting a job, all right? So this is some of our uh, resources as well um, in the campus. So just a rough sharing with you all. And this is the orientation that we have. So um, quite happening. So uh, students can actually go into our website and check out what happened um, for our just recent 2022 uh, orientation that happened in March, all right? So all the happenings we deal will be there. So the students, if you go into our website, you can also see this kind of, uh, um, what do you call that? Um, it's actually a chat function. These are all our students. This is just a sample, yeah? And when you go inside, you actually see more. So students can actually click and chat with the current students, all right? And make appointment and ask them, um, how is the studies there, you know, um, maybe if you find someone that is the same country like Indonesian students, they can actually uh, look for Prem and talk to him and say how is the things in Griffith, you know, how is your studies, how are the people here and stuff like that. So these students who actually registered under this uh, session is providing the support, peer support to our um, future students, all right? And as an agent or whoever, you also can go in and chat with the student, ask them that, okay, how is your study? Studies, you know, um, but um, they will actually need to make appointments. So they are not 24 hour uh, standby to answer you. So you actually have to uh, make appointment and chat with them. All right. Okay. This is about the um, get a, um, the transportation that is available and also the living costs. So um, 
this is the trend that we are talking about. So this transition actually goes through the campus. So this, you can see our business school label here. So we have two stop. One is Griffith University, one is Griffith Hospital. So we actually, um, students can take the train from the Brisbane city to Gold Coast campus. All right, it's very convenient. So this is the, okay. All right, so this is actually talking about the industry growth um, in uh, Gold Coast, all right? So you can actually see that we actually are in the growth that we have a lot of uh, demand for uh, professionals, uh, I mean, job openings, like if you talk, uh, if you uh, name it in this way. So Brisbane is here. So we have about 19.8%. Gold Coast is here. We have about 36.1%, yeah. So this is the um, industries, right? Okay, so this is the post-study visa that I think a lot of your students will be interested. So if um, they have done a two years degree with us, all right, bachelor degree, uh, two years in Australia, they will be able to get a two years working visa. You can call it post-study visa. Uh, if they have done a master degree in Gold Coast campus, they can get a three years um, post-study visa. Um, of course, if they do a doctoral program, they will get a four years study visa. Um, this one will depending on the duration of students staying in Australia. If they do online, it is not counted, all right? So they have to be physical in Australia or on campus. Then only they are eligible for this post-study work visa, okay? So this is the post visa the students can get later on after they graduated their degrees or master's degree. Okay, so that is my presentation on the PowerPoint. We will then go into the website presentation, right? So let's go into the chat first. Let me see a... Uh, okay. Do, oh, do, you, do you want to go ahead with the website first? All right, sure, no problem. Okay. Yeah, let's go with that first. Okay, where's my... And if anyone has any questions, please think of some now and then um, we'll get to the <laughs> questions as soon as Anne is done. Yes, we have to prepare them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, yeah, all right. so this is my website. You can see, yeah. Okay, so this is griffith.edu.au. Very simple and direct, Griffith, all right, G-R-I-F-F-I-T-H, in case you know how to spell, griffith.edu.au. So once you click into here, you will see this is my website. If you are lazy to type the program that you like, you actually place your mouse here, you will see the study areas come up. Or if you're still lazy, <laughs> you can scroll down and there are still another option over here. Then here, go down to the bottom, you actually have a lot of videos that you can see. This is some sort of like vlog done by our students, some short interviews, all right? And then this is the why choose Griffith. And go down here, this is the happening. So normally students won't go so down, so they will just stop here. So here is where you can search all the program that you want. So let's say we go into a business program. So either you type a business, then you will see all the recommendations about business will come up here. So you can choose the one that you want. If it's not inside, all right? So let's say if it's not inside, you can actually go to this magnifier and click at it. It will actually open the page and show you all the program that is related to the business, okay? Regardless of the level. So you will have bachelor, you will have graduate certificate, you will have master's, um, double degree, single degree, all related to business, it will come out, okay? So you can here choose whatever you want, or you can actually choose the refine your results by, okay, what study area you want. Okay, level of study, maybe I want to look at undergrad only or postgrad only, and then, okay, ignore the location because the um, this is not so important. And then you can choose for the single or double degree. So if you come across a program that have a slash in between, just like this one, arts slash business, right, or criminology slash business, it means that this is a double degree. A single degree will be just like this, all right, graduate certificate research in business. If it's a double, it will be Bachelor of Arts stroke business or Bachelor of Business stroke data science, 
Okay, so this is how you identify whether it's a single degree or a double degree. All right, so now let's, let's go into the business. Just, okay, if you see like simple, uh, okay, so I so everyone is the same one. Uh, oh, which one should I click? Uh? Okay, you can look at the um, campus. If you can't find any campus here, then uh, it will be on a digital, all right? So this have a campus, so we will click in this one. So this is the program. So once it's open, it will show you the key facts that you need to know. So this is the campus that offering the program. This is the duration. Normal year, normally, it's a three-year standard degree and one year of the honours year. All right. So this is the Bachelor of Business without the honours. So it's a three years full time. Remember just now, I was talking about the trimester. So if you see commencing in trimester one, two, three, it means that throughout the whole year, this program has three intake. Some program like film and screen media, they only have one intake, they will only have trimester one, okay? This is the entry requirements. We put the English here for you to refer. So normally for Malaysian students and Singapore students or a um, English speaking country students, they do not need to sit for IELTS if the IELTS requirement is below seven. Means that uh, unless the IELTS requirements is band seven and above, then the students will need to sit for an IELTS. All right. So this is the fee you can see. So Australian University, like us, we actually increase the fees every year. Slight increase. So like say this year is thirty thousand five hundred. Twenty twenty three, it will be thirty one thousand five hundred, and then twenty two twenty four, it will be. 32,500. So this is how you can uh, advise students. Okay, credit points, it means that total, how many credit points is needed for this program? 240, it means roughly about 24 subjects, uh, about two to um, divide by three years. So every year about 80 credit points. So divide by one year, every semester is about four subjects. Average, every subject is 10 credit points, all right? Um, this one, you don't need to memorize. Uh, when you refer it more frequent, you will understand, okay? So this is the degree code. In case you need to double confirm the program that you select is correct, you can double confirm here with the code. Okay, so after that here, you can actually see the introduction about the program. What is it about, all right? And then the program accreditation will be on the second part, all right? and then all the uh, recognitions. This is the attendance information. Sometimes for the health program or, or like um, pharmacy or some social work, they will actually need to have a certain minimum studies um, or, or minimum attendance, all right? So um, they will uh, put it here. And then this is the work integrated learning. So all the programs will have this column. It will explain to students whether they will be having this WIL or they will not, or what kind of WIL are they expecting, all right? So it will be listed down here for each different program. So not all will have the same thing. Huh? This is only for business program, all right? Then go down here, you can actually can see the fees. This is the fee span. Um, this it means that per CP, all right? Don't get confused. Per CP means um, not one subject. This is per CP. Every subject is 10 credit points. So every subject is roughly about 3,800 3, plus, all right? So this is one year tuition fee. So it divided half. So every time it's about 15,000 plus, all right? So this is about the uh, changing residence uh, um, status. So go down a bit. Here you have the career opportunity. You can also use this career opportunity to explain to student what kind of career opportunities of job outcomes that the students can expect. Every program will have these career opportunities. All right, don't worry that you don't know how to explain. All right, you can just um, base. Uh, I mean, follow what they say here, or you modify a bit. All right. So we actually have highlighted every potential job prospect in the program. All right, so this is business. So uh, different majors comes with different kind of uh, job outcome. Okay, Let's scroll down some more. Okay, this is a session for how to apply. So this is where you can double check with the entry requirements. Search for the region that you want. Okay, let's say I go for, uh, if let's say your students is doing IB, you can just go direct to IB. Then it will tell you how many marks the students need to have. Aggregate is total, all right? Don't use it to divide by 10. 
okay? Aggregate is the total. So like, let's say your student is from Singapore, then you will go to the Singapore and then you look for the outcome at levels. Okay, let's say your student is Malaysia, then you will go to Malaysia, all right, and see what is it. If let's say the countries that you select the, um, I mean, the qualification is not there, you can ask our counselors, they will direct it to me, okay? So this is the language requirements, as I said. So this is the IELTS requirements. Uh, Besides IELTS, what kind of other, um, I mean, uh, professional uh, academy exam that they can take like TOEFL, Pearson test, all right? So it depends on what the students want to do. Normally we recommend them for IELTS. So um, if you see this um, direct entry program, it means that students can take English together with the uh, degree program, okay? So this is the Griffith English Language Institute. So if you click inside, you can actually go to the uh, Gali website and then look at the package or look at the fees for the English program. So this is the credit, uh, where is it? Okay, this is the credit and recognition of prior learning. This part is a bit complicated. So um, because it will goes with the credit exemptions and they, um, you have to be careful of the uh, program outline that the students gave you. So we don't want just only the program name because sometimes, you know, students thinking that I'll oh, give you the program name, it will be fine. Um, no, we need more than that. We will need a lot of the syllabus and more details. This one case by case basis, all right? So you just let me know if you need my help on the credit. Okay, so down here is the degree details. So you can select by default, it will go to the nearest intake. All right, so now it's the trimester two, that is the July intake, so it will be here. So um, it's actually nothing much changes, it's just that uh, the starting point is different. So um, sometimes the subject might be different, that's all, all right? Um, okay, where did I do? What did I go? Go on, yeah? Degree requirements. Okay, so you can also see here, this is some of the credit exemptions, blah, blah, blah. Looks complicated, so don't worry about it. So if you need my help, let me know. So this is the uh, program director of the program. And then if you go inside here, it will list down year one, what kind of subject the students will do, year two, year three, all right, and all the major minor that for each of the program, all right? I'm not going through the business program only, okay, I'm just showing you an example, okay? If I need to spend time to talk about the business program, it will be very long time, all right? So this is the elective that is available. So this is how you actually can guide your students to look at each program, all right? So, and then that's all for the web, I mean, not website. So this is all for the, uh, how to search for the program. Okay, let's go back to the same thing. Let's say I want to look for nursing, okay? So I click a nursing. So it will actually give me a Bachelor of Nursing and all other nursing that is related. So you click into the nursing. You see the difference here is that the trimester will be different. So it's no longer trimester one, two, three. It's only two trimester. And there is no part-time here. So you can see it's a full-time three years program and only offered two times a year, March intake and July intake. Here you see the IELTS has become seven. So all students, regardless they are from English background, they have um, whatever reason they can give you, they still need to sit for IELTS 7. This is a requirement from the nursing board. So it's not to certify us, it's to certify the English, uh, the uh, nursing board, all right? So if you come across this IELTS 7 or 7.5, you will need to advise the students to sit for the IELTS. This is the fees, same thing. So this one is a bit expensive compared to the business. So almost the same thing. So here you can actually see the, um, I mean the, um, the briefing about this program. And then you can also see here, the, we actually tell the students that trimester and trimester one and two uh, intakes are only available for students who with one of the following qualifications. So you have to be careful, some program like nursing, the second trimester is actually only for the diplomas or the IQN students. So the, um, the standard program means the fresh grad, uh, A-level students, um, they will actually go into trimester one only. So some program we will highlight in the first paragraph here, all right? 
So this is the same thing, program accreditation and the recognitions, all right? So here is about the nursing. So they will tell them that what kind of a study they are expecting, all right? How many hours they need to fulfill. So this is the attendance uh, information that is different from the uh, business school, all right? Others is almost the same. Okay, if you come across the health program, you can actually, you will see this um, professional practice requirement. This is actually not to be done before they come. This is actually be done end of their first trimester. So no worries, all right? They will come here and then they'll do it here, all right? So um, the rest are the same with the business program. So it's just that when it comes to this uh, major minor and the pathway for direct entry students only, um, like I said, because try to, this is the second semester, then it's open for the diploma students. So if you're student at A-level, you go for trimester one, you go for next year. So you will see it's a standard pathway is available, okay? So this is how you actually check the program. Okay, so, and then let's say we go into the um, uh, business again. Okay, if let's say you click inside here, all right? So you scroll down, you actually can see all the studies area here. Let's say your student couldn't make up their minds. You can actually show them this one and guide them. Okay, what sector you are interested, you know, what you like to do, you like to do uh, public policy, you like to do sport management. We do have this kind of selection for them. Then you go down here. This is the reason why you do with GBS, Griffith Business School. And this is all the program that is related. So you can show all and show you all the programs that is under the business school. This is, all right, I, I choose postgraduate. So it only lists down the master's program. All right, so let's say I didn't say postgraduate. So it will come out all the bachelor and the graduate cert and the master's, everything will be here. Okay, so no need to worry about the second and third column. Okay, so this is actually about the campus where the program will be and the commencing date in the next nearest intake, right? So this is how you actually can search the program. All right, until here, everything okay? I guess so. <laughs> All right, so we go back here to the first page again. All right, then if you want to search for scholarship, you see this more thing here, this more magnifier, you click, all right, you put here, you put scholarship, then you go look for it. So you can look for the scholarship and finance, all right, so you just click, it will go to the international scholarship and finance. This is what I show you just now. So this is the remarkable scholarship that you need to pay attention. If your students is interested, you actually have to guide them through this process. So you click here, Remarkable Scholarship, it will open the page. And this program, uh, this scholarship, because it has a limited, um, I mean, um, quota, so um, quite straight. And then you can download this minimum GPA criteria to will the criteria. And also the students have to follow the closing dates. So this is the trimester one, two, three, this is the intake. Let's say now your students is coming for the July intake. So they have to put up the application and the scholarship application before the closing date. And then the outcome will come out next month. If they miss the date, they will not be processed. All right, remember this. So don't appeal and then say, why, why you didn't process um, no, no appeal, okay? So let's say they're going for trimester three, then they have to put up the application in August. Let's say they go for next year, trimester one, 2023, but there is no calendar here yet. So the new one will come in maybe in July or, or, or August. So you have to check out the website. So you still have to submit sometime before December to catch the trimester uh, one, 2023 application, all right? So this is something that you have to remember. If the student missed the date, um, they will not be processed. Okay, and they have to apply for the application first before they apply for the scholarship. So now you can go to apply for scholarship. It will open you the application form. Let your student fill up themselves, blah, 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 all right. The second page is all the academic information or the cert or the compliment cert or the best award, whatever awards they want to put in, they can put in. Select the scholarship. And also they have to write a personal statement that address why you have applied for the scholarship. 
selected program of studies. All right, remember this is a remarkable scholarship. This is not a bursary. So don't ask your student to say, I come from a very poor family. I don't have father, don't have mother. Okay, very poor, very bad. Don't write those things, all right? They will not get selected. So go for the um, remarkable way, you know, be ambitious. So I, I, I apply for this program and I need this remarkable scholarship because I want to become a, a pilot, you know, blah, blah, blah. So something that is um, related to remarkable. <laughs> okay, you, you get what I mean, yeah? So don't write those uh, pity story that um, you need a bursary, you need a help. So you definitely won't get it, all right? So uh, be careful on this. So this is a personal statement that the students have to write and uh, limit it into like about um, maximum about 500 words, all right? Don't write a book. Uh. The, the scholarship team will not have time to read through the book. So just write like um, approximately like 500 to 1,000 words is good enough already, all right? So just write a personal statement and then submit it and they, it will automatic send to the scholarship board and then they will review it. And then once the school student um, receive, they will announce it through email. If they don't receive, they will also get announced, uh, I mean, get informed, all right? So this is the remarkable scholarship. So we go back to the international scholarship. So for these two, as I said, the merit and excellence, it covers 20% and 25%. It actually is automated given. So no application requirements, all right? So no worries on this. So we have other scholarship as well, but this one also is by term, I mean, uh, terms and conditions, all right? So this is from the English school. This is from the Griffith College, all right? So, um, and this is only for the top students, not for every student. So don't say that the student progress to degree, they will get 3,000. No, 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 no such thing, all right? It's actually for outstanding Griffith College diploma students only, similar like the Remarkable Scholarship, all right? So this is about the scholarship that you can actually refer here. All right, so um, I think okay with scholarship. Okay, so one more last thing about the Griffith. So here, you go to this about Griffith here, you click. Okay, this is where you can ask your students to go to look at the, have a glance, all right. So go to this campus and facilities. All right, so this is where the students can actually go into the campus and see how is the campus look like, all right. And then the accommodation, what type of accommodation they will be looking at. All right, and also the facilities, okay? And they also can click into this live at Griffith. So you click into here, you can actually ask the students to check out what they can do, what's happening, you know, what they can do in the university, what kind of clubs and societies available, live after campus. So let's say they say, can I work? Yes, um, students can work um, legally in Australia. So it's actually $40 as 40 hours per fortnight. So average about 20 hours per week, okay? So they can also look at this live at Australia, live online, okay, connect with others, blah, 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 all right. So this is the sports and fitness and also the type of cafe, bars and restaurants and accommodation. So this is roughly about our university website that you can actually ask the student to check out. Okay, all good. Okay, we talked a little bit on the Griffith College. If you type Griffith College, it will give you the Dublin one. Yeah, so you have to make sure that you get the Australia one. So it will look like this. Make sure that it's in Queensland, Australia. This is the Griffith College that we are referring to, all right? So under Griffith College, you actually have the diplomas, all right, various type of diplomas, foundation, and also the master qualifying program. So master qualifying program is for students who wanted to do master, but they are not qualified because maybe um, GPA is not enough or maybe a work experience is not enough or something, all right? So just this master qualifying program is to assist the students to get into the master program if needed, all right? So diplomas, we have all types of diplomas and also foundation. So here, let's say we go for foundation. This is for students who finish year 10, yeah, year 10. They will actually come in here for foundation. It's very short. Just uh, This is what I just now said. 
about the chat to me. So the students can actually click in here and then they can check with the students uh, who is available and ask about the uh, house life in Griffith and stuff like that, all right? So this is the program structure. So for four semester, uh, four subject every semester, this is the elective. So this is the pathway that you can also advise the student. So some degree, um, they do not have a pathway from foundation, some do. So you make sure that you double check on this pathway before you advise to the students. Like let's say my students want to do um, nursing, all right? So from foundation, is he able to go into bachelor? So we go to the health degree and we look for nursing. Nursing is not here. So it means that the student cannot go direct from foundation to bachelor. So they have to go to the foundation to diploma, diploma to bachelor. So we go to the health. All right, so the healthcare is here. So it means that students have to take the foundation plus the diploma, then only go into the degree. All right, so remember, if the students take any of the diploma, normally they can go into year two of the degree. Normally, all right, under normal circumstances, they are able to proceed to year two. And you can package it for the students, means the student will get an offer letter for foundation plus diploma plus degree. Okay, so this can be packaged. All right, so this is how you check the program. So you have to make sure that uh, the students is aware of the pathway. You don't, um, like later, you know, after study, hey, where's my pathway? I cannot go into a degree, what happened now? You know, then you get scolded for nothing, all right? So this is the um, pathway that you have to look into it. And also, um, if you look at the foundation or any diploma, you can also click on the entry requirements. All right, and also the trimester. So this is the key dates that you can actually refer. So this is the foundation and the diplomas. Uh, Griffith College do not have scholarship. Don't ask me why they don't have scholarship, okay? So this is the diploma that is available. So um, you can actually click into any of them and then explore. Let's say this is the healthcare that go direct to the nursing. So this is the program structure. Same thing, they can talk to the students, all right? Choose someone that they like. Uh, and then this is the pathway, all right? And then they can actually um, confirm it about the nursing degree and stuff like that, okay? So this is about the college and this is about the university. All right, so any questions? I think I finished already. Okay, I'll go into the, wow. Wow. Okay. That is so many questions. Thank you very much, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh. Again, very comprehensive presentation, Anne. Um, thank you so much for going through everything um, for our partners today. Thank I you. I see there are a lot of questions, um, all from the one from the <laughs> one uh, counselor here. Um, now, I think some of these questions you could have already answered. I can see. Um, I didn't answer anything questions. actually. I <laughs> would have someone answered by me. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So if you if you want to go through some of those questions, Wait, uh, um, um, are you looking at the Q and well? A? Yes. Exactly. Yeah, that is a five. Uh, that's come from I think my Thai agents. Okay. Hanwadi. Yes. Um, I have a prospect student to do a research program for three months. I don't think our research program have three months. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not familiar. I think any uh, research well. project is available for three months. Um, uh, mm. No, direct answer is no. No. Okay. no. <laughs> Cocos no. is <laughs> quoted as the regional area. Yes, it is. It is a regional. So that's why after studies, the students will get additional one year of post-study visa compared to if you study in Nathan campus or uh, Mount Graver campus. All right. Uh, do you have an HR course offer to um HR? We we have a bachelor of business major in human resource management, but we do not have a bachelor of human resource. Okay. T one is February or March. T two is July and T three would be October. Uh, yes, correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> F M M M is a master, I believe. Master. Yes, Master of Data Science. Yeah. That's um, okay. Is. We don't have a specialized program like a full degree on data science. Our data science is actually is one of the modules that part into the business program. So it will be a subject 
or you, you call it a modules or a subject part inside the bachelor degree or the master degree only. So we don't have a full title or specially um, doing for data science. We don't have that. Mm, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I've answered my Panwadi's yeah. <laughs> questions. All right. Yeah, there are all the questions there. So if anyone has any more questions, please uh, feel free to ask right now. But we have gone over a little bit of time. So yeah, okay. I think if there's any more questions, I can't see any more questions here. Yeah, okay. I think. Um, yeah, Great. I, I, think, think. I think we'll leave it at that then. So again, thank you so much, Anne, for your time. It's been really great to... Um, no problem, hear from no you problem. Again and a great, great presentation as, as always. And thank you for going through so much detail. It was really, really great. And um, yeah, Griffith welcome. University is, is such a great um, university. Actually, one of my staff recently attended the Griffith University uh, fam trip, um, yes. um, uh, which is was, which was really good for all the agents that, that attended, really gave a good sense of what, what Griffith has to offer and, and the great benefits for international students. So very, very good. I, I love it myself. Thank okay, you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Thanks, everyone, for joining. If you have any more questions that you'd like to ask regarding Griffith, um, please get in touch with me. I have left my email there at the top of the, the chat uh, as well, I believe. Um, so please get in touch with me if you have any more questions or any other applications uh, that Hi. you need to. <laughs> <laughs> there, there you are. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, now it's available. Okay, no, no, no. Good. <laughs> no, it's a, no problem. No problem. All right. Uh, thank you, Anne, and thank you, everyone, and um, have a good day. Okay, yes, and we'll everyone, see you in the next you. webinar. Take care. Okay, take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.